I will try to quickly uh, solve this. Although I'm going to be late for my meeting. But I care about my students so much. OK, so you're supposed to find t, delta x, and delta y. OK, and as I said, you start from here. So here at the start, v o y is 0 from this, because the angle is 0 sine of theta is 0, so this is 0. So that becomes 0, and you'll have this. Write it down. It's delta y is equal to 1 half g t squared. And you transform that solving for t is the square root of 2 delta y divided by g, which is 2 times uh, 78.4 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. And then you take the square root. And the units of this will be meters squared per second squared. Uh, that cancels. And you'll have per second squared, and then you divide that. Okay. So how do you do that in your calculator? 2 times 78 point, yikes, 78 point, e, 78.4 times 2 divided by square root. The answer is 4 seconds. Gee, easy. OK. So the next one is delta 8, delta x. OK, so v o x is equal times t. OK, so look at that. This is 1, so therefore the v o is equal to v o x. So I'm going to write that. What is our v o? It's 5.0 meters per second. What is t? 4 seconds. I don't even need a calculator. It's 20 meters okay okay and then what's the next one this right the final velocity of O. Oh, final velocity of x is equal to the initial velocity of x because it doesn't change so this is five meters per second and that's the solution and the second one vf and you take the square root of this this is 0 so it's the square root of 2gh okay which is 2 times 9.8 times 78.4 take the square root of that right Then take the square root. Okay, so I have uh, units. This is in meters per second squared. This one's meters, so meters squared per second squared. It'll be in meters per second. It is 38.2. I'd better check just to make sure that's correct. Okay, I'm late for my meeting. OK, uh, starting with, I, I like to start with the complicated numbers when I put it into the calculator, because you're more likely to make mistakes with the longer numbers. OK, so that, and then you take the square root, and that's verified. So this is the VFY. OK, so check, check. Now, here, you have to do it again. Since you're just going to change the VO is doubled, the H is the same. So for TD, okay, what is it? It's exactly the same, right? 2 times 78 point, because it's the same height, divided by 9.8 meters per second, and then take the square root of the whole thing. So it's the same, 
four seconds. Okay, and that's a complete solution. How about the second one? Delta x. Okay, this changes. So this is now delta x is 10 meters per second times 4 seconds and this is now 40 meters so that changed and then what's the last one we have to recalculate again VO is equal to right VFX is equal to VOX which is now equal to 10 meters per second so that's the answer for that one Okay, and then the last part here is VFY, and it's the square root of uh, 2 times 9.8 times the height, 78.4. because that's the height, right? The height is doubled. Uh, no, no. The height is the same. So this, no, that's going to be the same exactly. So the answer is going to be the same as that one. Uh, 39.2 meters per second. That does not change. Ooh, sorry, you guys didn't see that. I was saying that these, since this is the same, the answer to all of this will be the same as the answer to all of that, which is that one. Okay, so same time, further, right? Of course, because it has more speed, right? Okay, so E, you have to do it again. TE is equal to the square root of 2 times two times that because it's twice the height divided by 9.8 meters per second squared and what's the answer 2 okay I'm gonna do that here right so 2 times 2 times divided by 9.8 equals square root it is now 5.6 5.7 seconds okay or 6 it doesn't matter you can make it 6 seconds if you like uh, because there's it should really be 2 right because the the this is the the least decimal okay anyway I'll accept anything you write down as long as you have it correct so same speed for the second one okay and the time is longer so five times uh, 0.7 equals this is now 28.5 meters so it goes further okay and again VFX is equal to VOX which is equal to 5.0 meters per second because it doesn't change how about the BOVFY okay we have to change that so it's the square root of what is our formula 2 times G okay 2 times 9.8 all right there 9.8 meters per second times twice the height is 2 times 78.4 
Okay, do that in the calculator. What do you get? Uh, 2 times 9.8 times 2 times 0.4 equals, then square root. Okay, you get 55. 0.4 meters per second, or just 55 is fine. Okay? Okay, I guess you didn't see that again. Okay, I'll leave it here for a little bit, but I gotta go. Okay? So again, you just change whatever is supposed to change and you recalculate. Okay? I hope that makes sense to everybody.